the case for computers. This is a film about computer hardware and software. It's a story about diskettes and peripherals and programs, all those computer things. But more to the point, it's about how all those computer things are being put to use in a profession we rarely think of as technological. Call it a breakthrough, if you will, the beginnings of new and better ways to do things. And sometimes breakthroughs show up in the strangest places. Meet a man who's leading the way in these new developments, John Klein. He's a lawyer. Well, let's get this unloaded, Jason. What's a three-piece suit lawyer like me doing in a place like this? Come on in and I'll show you. John we'll Klein, later, breaking through, even on a weekend up in the Wisconsin woods. Hi, girls. Hi, Suits. Hi, John. How you doing? Oh, just great. Take a look. You'll need to do This is it. This machine lets me practice law just as effectively here as in my office in Chicago. As a matter of fact, it lets me practice law better than I've ever been able to before, as far as I'm concerned. It's the only way to go. Klein's office is three hours away in downtown Chicago. It's up there on the 41st floor. He's a partner in the firm of Willen, Brinks, Olds, Hofer, Gilson, and Leon. They're involved in patent, trademark, and copyright matters. More than 30 lawyers with branch offices in Green Bay, Wisconsin, Indianapolis, and near Washington. Is very pleased about the two million. Ah, and I should be. <laughs> I think it was a very good settlement. We considered serious. Of all practices, patent is one of the most paper intensive. Stacks of files, histories of inventions, alleged infringements, and files on similar products. They have all those files, but in a different form. Using the IBM Information System for Attorneys, ISA, and personal computers, they can get at the information within seconds. Potential defendants, uh, have you uh, been able to put those on a computer? Uh, we've got all of the text of the depositions in our database, as well as uh, all of the documents that were produced during the litigation. So we have uh, very quick access to that testimony. Probably the most significant application of the computer has been what I call its photographic memory capabilities. Once I tell the computer what's in those transcripts and documents, I can find those documents instantaneously. It's impossible for me to overestimate the impact. In fact, I, uh, I often tell people the rest of those guys are out there with bows and arrows and I've got gunpowder. It's an integrated system used for business applications and for the practice of law. Willen Brinks is one of the leaders in applying computers to practice all across the board. In the last seven years, we've implemented three levels of office automation. When we put the word processing equipment in, I now found that I had about 20 to 25 percent more of my time available to do lawyer work and not to proofread documents. The mainframe has given us the capability of being able to track our due dates for our various uh, properties and uh, court calls. And finally, the personal computer, probably of all of them, has had the most impact on me personally. Being able to use that equipment to manage the information that we have to deal with in litigation and also being able to use it to create draft documents has literally changed the way I spend my day in the office. Rita Stark knows about those changes. She runs the firm's branch near the U.S. Patent Office. Now with two-way electronic communications with Chicago, her work has changed. As you know, law firms are not like most American corporations. Consequently, the software that has been developed for use in the ordinary business is either very difficult or impossible to apply to the needs of a law firm. That is why something like the ISA package that's been developed uh, for IBM uh, is of enormous importance to us as lawyers. 
because it's designed specifically to suit our needs. The system also meets the needs of smaller firms. Levin, Ginsberg, and Novoselsky, also in Chicago. They have eight lawyers and a state-of-the-art System 36 computer. Bob Levin comments. We felt that we had to acquire a very sophisticated computer system that would enable us not only to be able to meet today's needs from a business standpoint, that is getting our billing in and, and getting it out the door, uh, being able to keep track of our docket on an accurate basis, but also be able to start communicating with our clients. Our clients need our information faster than we can give it to them. And what we're going to be trying to do in the next several years is we're going to be trying to give our clients the information and service from us that they need. We can only do that, we think, with the assistance of a computer. And? Are you working on the shareholders agreement for Bob? The firm is involved in general practice. Small, efficient, geared to quality of service and product. They had another system and then looked around for something better. They found it. We decided to go with IBM because we felt we had the best chance with IBM of being able to deliver excellent product and excellent service to our clients and maintain a very high level of professional conduct. Breakthroughs show up in the strangest places. Oliver Frascona. Most lawyers really like to practice law and do it quite well. But unfortunately, that's no longer enough. In order to be an effective, successful lawyer today, one has to use the same computerized technology that other businesses use. Frascona's coming home from a business meeting. He's with Frascona, McLeod, and Joyner, and home is Boulder, Colorado. He started out in a basement, fresh out of college. Now the firm builds at the rate of a thousand statements a month. There are only 15 lawyers, so that means they all stay on the move. A computer becomes essential. In his fast-paced practice, time is critical. A meeting at home to review documents generated by the system while he was flying back. He conducts business wherever he needs to, with the backup of staff, the ISA package, and the System 36 computer. Frascona thinks of himself as a businessman and a lawyer, and depends on technology for both. You've looked at the changes. Close by, the IBM personal computer, also used by Mrs. Frascona for her business. Most lawyers don't want to bother with computers, technology, and the business. But in order to be successful, we've got to offer the highest quality product, efficiently delivered in a cost-effective manner. There's no way around it. If we don't automate, if we don't have a computer system, we can't compete. Texas oil country, big and booming. Attorney John Sewell is another one who's leading the way but it wasn't always easy to bring some others along with him. When we first started looking at uh, computers to assist us in automating our billing and accounting systems, I was concerned that I might run into resistance from some of the lawyers in our firm. Lawyers generally are trained to look at the past to deal with precedent and not to look to the future and to new developments. So I wanted to try to find something that would let our lawyers not change the way they did business when we discovered the information system for attorneys, uh, we were able to uh, automate our billing and accounting processes without changing uh, any of the way we do things now. And in fact, by using the integrated filing system, uh, we had other capabilities that we hadn't even dreamed of. John Sewell's office is within the shadow of the State Capitol building in Austin. He's a partner in the firm of Scott, Douglas, and Luton and he too stays on the move. Hi, Carolyn, has Ron Becker called yet? Yes, he called and he's gonna be just a few minutes late. Okay, thanks. When he gets here, would you send him to my office? I sure will. Thanks. A large share of the firm's practice relates to oil and gas, a high stakes business where delays in getting information in making decisions can be costly. Sewell uses the IBM information system for attorneys to manage his time as well as his information. We represent hundreds of oil and gas clients around the state, and we frequently run into a situation where a conflict may occur. Uh, through the uh, computers and systems uh, integrated filing system, we're able to identify those uh, potential conflicts very rapidly and to avoid them becoming problems. Sewell had earlier experiences with computers at another organization. He knew what questions to ask when his firm decided to automate. He knew what to expect. 
But with all that, he got some pleasant surprises. One of the things that we've been really pleased about when we acquired our system was our ability to recover expenses. Uh, we found, for example, we had one problem uh, where we were not billing expenses unless we incurred time in that month. The system found that for us automatically, and we were very pleased when we were able to uh, bill those expenses and, in fact, recover enough money to pay for the software package. Carol. The installation, the conversion, the implementation all went smoothly because IBM pays special attention to these things. Consider the experience of Richard Herman of Bayard Brill and Handelman in Wilmington, Delaware. We found that the uh, programs and the representations made with regard to what the machine will do uh, has met all of our expectations. The support available uh, for questions uh, is in terms of a hotline, and we have never had to wait for an answer to a problem. It just all seems to come together very nicely. With questions about support and service behind him, Herman is now discovering ways to use the system to become a better lawyer. The library is the most valuable tool to our profession. It's also the most costly tool. And it seems that as you add lawyers, you have to add books. And with the more books in the library, the more unwieldy the library gets and the more expensive it gets. It used to be that as you added lawyers, the cost of the library geometrically increased. But that's not true anymore, not with the advent of the computer. Now, by means of supplementary computer research, we're hooked into databases all across the country. And very often, this will increase the speed of research by as much as 10 times. Similarly, with the IBM ISA package, we are able to maintain complete control over document support for litigation. By maintaining abstracts of documents, they may be located almost instantaneously. This is not form over substance. This is substance itself. We are able to provide a better product to our client at a less expensive cost. The system is also used for major accounting functions and for time and billing. The result is what Herman calls a dramatic change for the better in cash flow management. And there's reason for that. In our business, uh, our time is our inventory, and that's our product. We have to sell it, we have to move it, we have to bill it. Uh, there was a time when we used to ask ourselves, can we afford to have a computer. Now the question is, can we afford not to have one? We've come full circle and have barely scratched the surface, but the message is clear. By the time this decade is out, almost all attorneys will have, in one form or another, joined the computer age. It's just a question of how long that takes. Quite simply, those that don't have the capability to use a computer are not going to be able to compete with those that do. The IBM Information System for Attorneys, along with IBM Technology, is changing the way lawyers work and where they work. Not all lawyers like being in the woods, as John Klein does, but they do all seek to do a better job at lower cost and with fewer problems. And that's the case for computers. That's the breakthrough.